Are you serious? Are you serious? All right, guys, you know, the Bible talks about the sun sending basically UV rays coming from the sun, radiation that starts affecting the earth. Matter of fact, and, and, and here's what we've got to report. I'm going to show you this in the Bible, but we have a report right now at spaceweather.com. They're reporting approximately once a week spaceweather.com and its students at the earth to sky calculus they fly space weather loca- uh, space weather balloons to the stratosphere over california these balloons are equipped with radiation sensors that detect cosmic rays a surprisingly down to earth form of space weather but cosmic rays can seed clouds trigger lightning and penetrate commercial airplanes. No wonder you feel so bad with jet lag. What? Because you're getting your, you're getting, you know what I'm saying? You're getting inundated by uh, radiation. And uh, furthermore, these are the, the studies are linking cosmic rays with cardiac arrhythmias. That's why people have heart attacks on planes as well. Not trying to freak you out. Not trying to tell you to quit flying. Just saying, okay? And sudden cardiac death in the general population. You don't have to be a plane to get affected by this right here on Earth. Our latest measurements show that cosmic rays are intensifying with an increase of more than 13% now since 2015. Did you hear what I just said? The cosmic rays over California. That's just California. And I'm sure that's, it's going to be consistent around the globe. The cosmic rays that's inundating the earth has increased by 13% in two years. That's it's insanity. Sanity. Get some coffee. Calm down, but that's insanity. That'll make your coffee, it'll make your liver quiver, dude. I mean, seriously, this isn't good. And so there's a graph showing this at spaceweather.com it's unbelievable how it's just going straight up and we're on a we're on an unbelievable incline um why are cosmic rays intensifying the main reason is the sun we had joy we had fun we got cosmic rays coming from the sun oh yes and the solar storm clouds such as coronal mass ejections or cmes sweep aside cosmic rays when they pass by the earth during solar maximums, the CMEs are abundant and cosmic rays are held at bay. But now that we're in a solar minimum, uh, the cosmic rays are, are having more ability to inundate us. Now, let me just tell you what the Bible says. In the book of Revelation 16, you will find out that, I mean, this is unbelievable, but there's grievous sores that get on people because they have the, they've taken the insertion, they've taken the uh, mark of the beast and it starts creating these sores on their on their hand and on their forehead um, if it's a chip or whatever type of technology it is and we hear about the waters turning blood red and all that but there's something else that happens in this chapter in the 16th chapter it's when the, the vials of the wrath of God are being poured out in verse 8 and the fourth angel poured out his vial upon the sun And power was given unto him to scorch men with fire from the sun. So it's not flames coming from the sun. It's it's cosmic rays bringing radiation, burning them. And men were scorched with great heat and they blasphemed the name of God, which had power over these plagues. And they repented not to give him the glory. And then it goes on to talk about the beast system and the kingdom of the beast and how they will, and it says in the fifth angel poured out his vial upon the seed of the beast and his kingdom was full of darkness and they gnawed their tongues for pain and they blasphemed the God of the heaven because of their pains and their sores and they repented not of their deeds. And then it talks about the Euphrates River starts drying up. Well, guess what? The Euphrates River, the last eight years has dried up 80%. 80%. They show you can look at uh, Google Google map pictures of eight years ago and how wide the Euphrates River was. And now it's 80% dried up. In other words, the, we're, cosmic rays are increasing. The Euphrates is shrinking. It's, it's drying up. All of the apocalyptic events 
are already in process building for these very events that the Bible says are coming. It's not that you're coming. They're in process. And so how close will it be? How close are we to the son of God? Because look, the church is not going to endure the wrath of God. And if it's already in process, it's already the, already the apocalyptic precursors are moving. Locusts and, and hail storms yesterday in uh, Wisconsin. I mean, we're talking two foot of hail in some places. Are you listening to me? See, we're, we're moving in this. It's, it's already in process. The precursors are already in process. So, so if we're not, the body of Christ is not going to, God hasn't appointed us under wrath. The wrath of God's not for the children of God. They're, they're going to be taken out of here. And if it's already in process, then how much time do you think we got left? You might want to realize this is the year 5777 in the Hebrew calendar. You might want to realize it's, this is the Jubilee year of Jerusalem. You might want to understand this is the year that the great wonder in heaven will be seen in the constellations. With a, with a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, giving birth to the man-child and the 12 stars in her crown, just like it says in Revelation, it's going to happen. On the Feast of Trumpets, which is September 23rd, seven days later, it's going to be the Day of Atonement. I'm not saying that the Lord is going to return on September 23rd at all, but I'm saying that we're seeing the apocalyptic signs and the precursors of the coming of the Lord. And I'm telling you, the Middle East peace deal they're talking about, and we got Muslim leading Muslim leaders from Turkey in Jerusalem. This uh, When I was in Jerusalem uh, just two weeks ago, and the television show just aired, showing where they're saying, go ahead and let the Jews build the third temple. And Trump's working on a, a, a peace agreement, yet there's violence all over the world, and ISIS, and the... And the swamp is getting sleazier and slimier and slippery and the slope of the swamp. It's just, and you know, I'm telling you, there's tension everywhere. And we got the plague of Ebola back in the Congo. We got this plague of this, this uh, tick, um, what they're calling the creeping death, that if you're bit by this tick, one in 10 will die and the other 50% will be disabled, called the pos, the wasm. It's called the wasm or the possum, P-O-W is what they're calling it. Virus, the P-O-W virus. I mean, are you serious? Are you saved? So the cosmic rays, 13%, it's all coming together. It's Planet X. Do you want to talk about Planet X? Nibiru, are you serious? Earthquakes today, hail storms. Something's going to happen. Something is happening. Something has happened, and something's going to happen. Christ is coming. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Don't miss today's live broadcast. BP Earth Watch will be my guest. And I think we're going to have a powerful show. And then Reverend T.D. Hale tomorrow. That's it. We're still here.